Construction continues to move along on the city's new senior center, located at the corner of Central and Cummings Drive. Today, we're excited to give you a sneak peek inside the facility and go beyond the fence with the city's Parks and Recreation Director, Mark Long, to show you just how things are shaping up. All right, Mark, I'm so excited to tour today and see what's been going on inside. Well, we're excited to have you here. I'm excited to show the city of Bedford what's behind these doors, but I'm most excited to show the seniors their new home. Let's show them. Let's do it. Okay, so you walk in right here. What's this area? So this is where you're gonna come in um, when you come to the senior center. This is the control desk. So everything will happen right here. When you get here, you can scan your card, let the uh, staff know that you're here, and then you can go off to the area that you came to uh, participate in. If you have questions, you want to register for a program, you need just general information. All the of it's part, right here. All, all the part-time staff will be here and will be able to, to give you all that information. Then there's a really nice open space. I love the natural lighting, first off. So the windows in here are incredible. I'm dubbing this the cafe. Um, one of the things we heard from our seniors was is they wanted a place to come in and congregate and just hang out, have coffee. Coffee and conversation is what we call it. Um, and this is kind of that space that we've created. Um, we have over here, we have a coffee bar that we'll have set up. That's gonna get really good use. <laughs> You'll notice over there, there's a, a fireplace on the wall. Yeah. One of the things we wanted to do was create an environment in this space, uh, really aesthetically pleasing. A really cool, uh, cool idea that we had that fireplace there. And we'll have couches and maybe a few chairs sitting there as well to where you can just hang out and talk. Okay, so awesome. next spot, we have a fitness area. We do have a fitness area. We Let's, can go there. Yeah. Yep, awesome. Wow, okay, this is really cool. Fitness area. Fitness area. So this was actually not in the original design of the building. Um, it was an after fact, and that came from um, seniors who wanted a, a fitness component to this. So we talked to the architect, found this space, um, and now we're going to have 13 pieces of equipment wow. in this room. So we'll have cardio, which includes treadmills, ellipticals, recumbent bikes, upright bikes. We'll have a new step trainer, um, and then we have um, barbells up to 50 pounds, so five to 50 pounds. Uh, with a bench and then you'll have a functional trainer and if you don't know what that is that's basically your big cable machine oh, yes, yes. so we'll have five options on that uh, lat pulls would be an example of that crossovers and things like that so and we um, got the mirrors we got the mirrors and that's actually a carryover from the previous tenant so um, really cool space i think it'll be used really well i'm glad we were able to incorporate it yes it was a great it was a great ad now behind us we have a multi-purpose room we do have a multi-purpose okay, cool. room let's head there The first of many multi-purpose rooms. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a definitely a multi-purpose room, but this is intended to be our group exercise room. So we just came from the fitness center. Go get your heart rate up on a treadmill. Come into one of our many uh, group X classes. We offer Zumba, yoga, Pilates. I'll throw in jazzercise. I don't know if we offer jazzercise, the 80s version. Uh, <laughs> but this will take place in this room. But not just group exercise classes because we do need multifunction here. Um, you may see in the afternoons a 10 to 15 guitars in here playing yeah. guitars, singing old country songs. Um, after that, you may see line dancing in this place. So this is a, a really, really functional space that we can do a lot with. And then what, we got restrooms right here? Yes, restrooms, we have men's, women's, and then we have a family restroom. Family restroom has a shower with it, so um, if you want to come and work out, get sweat on, come take a shower, head to work, head to wherever You're you good. want to go, take a class somewhere <laughs> or here. Or spend so all day here. You could spend all day here. I love it. And then right next to it looks like a kitchen. Yep, so this is, this is the uh, kitchen. This is probably um, one of the things I'm most excited about. This is a, is a full commercial style kitchen. So um, obviously you're gonna have a, a gas range, you'll have your three um, sinks. We'll have an additional sink over here, dishwashers. Obviously you have your big vent hood 
uh, refrigerator right here. Uh, we'll have to put the freezer back in the storage room plus the ice maker, um, but we will have everything uh, we'll need to um, have a full functioning kitchen. So I'm most excited really about the classes we're gonna be able to have just in this space. So but, people will be able to utilize yes, this and yep. come in here and cook. And so we'll have try to have culinary classes, try to bring chefs in. Um, maybe have wine and cheese classes to where we can sit around this massive island right here. Um, but this is not just a kitchen, it's actually a programming space. I also want to point out, I love the walk-up window. Yes. So this is going to be able to be utilized for different like events that we have here. So this is where we're going to prepare um, all the meals. So any lunch that we have, any dinner that we provide the seniors, this is where it will be. Um, we'll also have catered uh, meals, so we'll be able to, to, to bring it in here and prep it here but we will be able to cook um, all of our meals here if we choose. So I love the kitchen, but I also absolutely love this room. So much lighting in here. One of the things that we asked the architect to do was to, to create that, that light, the natural light. Um, you'll see that through the hallway um, where you have windows on, on either side of the hallway. This space right here, um, you, you can see the, the window into the kitchen. We are gonna be able to serve lunches out of there. This space could be used for any card games and things like that, bridge, mahjong. Um, we play a lot of cards here, dominoes, popular. <laughs> um, Texas Hold'em and things like that. Um, but you can also have um, lunches in here. We'll do lunch and learns. We'll bring businesses from the community in. Um, they'll be able to um, speak to, to the seniors that sign up for that, any particular uh, program. But um, really looking forward to this space. Um, it's just a, a really cool, cool room, cool vibe. One of the big spaces I know that's going to be talked about is the old gymnasium yes. here. So yes. you want to head over yeah, there? Yeah, that's a, that's a good, good, good space. <laughs> Love that. So this right here is our largest multi-purpose room. Yep, this is going to be the largest. This was previously a gym. Um, we made the decision um, early on in the process that we wanted this to be um, kind of a congregate space for bigger events. You may see a Thanksgiving meal, a Christmas meal in here. Uh, you might see uh, a number of, maybe some dances, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see if, if we can fit enough people in here. But this space is, is a really big space. Um, you can also have multiple um, games going on in here as well. So uh, we'll also market for pickleball. That is huge. So, so yeah, I don't know how much pickleball we're going to be able to do with, with the, just the offerings and the programming that, that staff does in, in, for the Senior Center, and especially as we open up this building and just the, the amount of programming that we're going to be able to do. I put a, a lot of pressure on staff to, to make sure that, that this place is full and that we have a lot going on. So, But really we'll have excited. the capabilities. Absolutely, 100%. So this is a great room. I love this. The, the one thing we did, and, and we'll, I'll thank council for this, they approved um, some alternates that, that we had going into this project. One of the alternates was windows uh, in this room. This used to not have any windows other than some windows near the roof. But we asked, and they gave us uh, these four windows. So, again, more natural light. It really opens up yeah, the space. Yeah, it, it's gonna it just change the space completely. So, really excited about this this space and what what we're gonna be able to do with it. So, another multi-purpose room. Sort of. So this room is dedicated um, as a game room. So we will have actually a pool table in here. Oh, that's and a, cool. And we plan to have a ping pong table in here. I see some very intense gaming happening here. So we have a, we have a really good, um, we have a lot of pool players and yes. they do get very competitive. So I, I do know staff is excited about this room specifically because at OBS, the pool table is actually in the offices. Oh, so, gosh. <laughs> um, hard to get some work done when you have pool going on at the same time, but um, they're very appreciative that pool now has their own space. You got to get ready for those senior center games. You do, you do, we do. So also, because uh, it is a multi-purpose space, one of the things that we heard from our seniors was they wanted a place for technology. So we've actually added in this room a bank of four computers. So we have a computer lab here they'll have access to it, um, just like they do at the library. So they won't have to go anywhere but the Senior Center to get all their technology you taken care of. You never have to leave here. Nope, you could stay here. We just don't have uh, any beds or anything like that. So we're good, <laughs> we're good. On to the next. Let's do it. Okay. 
I know this is a highly requested space. So Abby, this was probably the most highly requested space uh, leading up to the design phase uh, of the facility. This is, I'm gonna call it the arts and craft room. There is a, a group of people who do ceramics weekly that will probably dub it the um, ceramics room, but this is our arts and craft room and we will also do um, ceramics here as well. We'll, we'll have a kiln. Um, obviously, storage is at a premium. Um, we had very little storage uh, at OBS, so we made sure that, that we included cabinetry um, and just extra spaces that we could, could store things. And the, one of the things that ceramics did request also was a sink. So we have two they sinks got it. here. <laughs> yep, they got it. So we're excited about that. And we actually even did a, there's a trap in there. So when they can wash off their ceramic items, they have flakes that fall off and we actually have a something that catches that. So Blood. that was also requested as well. So I wish I knew what it was. I never would have known. Yeah. So that's, that's a cool extra that, that we added to that. This room's awesome. Next door is the library. Yeah, the library won a, another highly requested room that we had that we were able to get in here. We had over 40 items that, that were requested by the seniors that we compiled, and we were able to um, actually get most of those items in there. Awesome. Uh, the library is cool. We have some, some residents of, of Bedford that are helping out. Um, with the shelving, they're going to come in and build and install the shelving. Well, so that's cool. we'll have a, a little bit of uh, some residents that has some sweat equity in there. So that's going to be cool. It's a small library, but we'll have books. We also um, the library has uh, is fortunate enough to to give us some books that they have in storage. We so love we'll our be able to, library. Yeah, we do love our, our library. So um, they so take, you'll grab a cup yep. of coffee and you can get grab coffee a good down book. there, and you can walk down the hall and you can go and read a book in the library. Perfect so. for a rainy day. Yep. All right, so this is one of three entrance and exits to the building. Yes, this is the actually the west side, the central side. So we have central um, running north and south here. Um, this is gonna be probably one of the main ones because we have a parking lot here. Yep. We do have the north side, which is right off of Cummings, um, and then the east side, which is also, we have a, a really nice parking lot over there. The east side parking lot will have a portico, so it'll have a covering over the sidewalk. So. Um, we're not going to have days like this every day, so we will have rain sometimes, so um, there'll be a drop off over there as well, so awesome. underneath, um, so um, you'll be able to drop off on that side, walk in, stay dry, and uh, come and enjoy the day at the uh, Senior Center. And if you've been driving by this place, you may have noticed we have a new paint job. Yes, we did. The, the, the brick um, that was on the previous building was beautiful, but it was very 1980-ish, and, and we really didn't like that, and we thought the seniors deserved to look. Uh, 2024. Yeah, we'll bring them up to uh, the, the, the 21st century. So um, we do have a, a kind of a light gray color, and then the awnings around will be graphite gray, uh, a little bit darker, so they'll complement each other. I think it looks really, really good. It does. I think it turned out good. I'm kind of colorblind, so I did not pick the color. I was involved in it, but um, as I see it now. It well, from someone cool. who's not colorblind, this looks really good. <laughs> cool. cool. No, it's, it's a great color. Another question I know we're going to get is what will the backyard space be one day? I know that's like a future idea, like so have yeah. some future ideas. Well, one of the things is that we need to, to look at is, is exterior landscaping. So um, our primary goal right now is to get the, the inside of the building uh, functional for our seniors. Um, you will see some continued construction on the exterior, but the back, um, we've talked about having gardens, having a community senior garden. Um, bocce ball has been thrown around, so I've even maybe heard pickleball maybe thrown around. So. It is, uh, we have a, a great opportunity back there, um, but it'll probably be a, another phase when we start really jumping into that. Now the biggest question. I, I think I know where you're going with this. When is this place going to open? <laughs> well, Abby, um, I do not have a crystal ball. Um, I do not know. Uh, the contractor has 160 days from, I think, June, the middle of June. So I would say that we may, we may be able to see inside of this building and programming by the end of the year. It's very exciting. Yep, it is. I know our seniors are very excited about they this. They are. They let me know uh, every Daily. week. Yep, every 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 week. Well, hey, Mark, are. thank you for giving us a tour. Yeah. I appreciate it, and I know our seniors appreciate it, and this is going to be a really nice facility. Well, Abby, we appreciate you coming, um, and I, I this is one project that I am, have been excited about since I got to Bedford in 2022. 
and we are so close to the finish. We're so close. It's almost there, so <laughs> I'm excited. For continued updates on the Senior Center, visit the city's website at bedfordtx.gov and follow us on all communication channels.